Hi. <laughs> the final three queens. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Dog Dad. So today is a, it's a day. It's a new day, and it's a better day than yesterday. I feel much better. I feel rested. I feel calm. I feel, I feel good. I feel really, really good, and I look good. Don't I look good? Tell me I look good. I know I look good. My brows look good. Skin is correct. You guys have been asking me to curl my lashes. I don't really curl my lashes. Like I do occasionally, but I haven't really like gotten in there with mascara. I want to do it in a video because these lashes are meant to be curled. And also I want to do a little toot, a little tutorial because I get complimented all the time on my brows and I swear it takes me like two minutes to do. And it's just like, when you get compliments on the street by random people or at Starbucks, it is the best feeling in the world. And if you guys can have that, I mean, if I can do it, you guys can do it. Sometimes like tutorials and stuff kind of freak me out because I'm not, I'm not one of the makeup girlies. I'm not a glam girly. I like do like a little, you know, cleanup, but the compliments, they get me good. They get me good and they get me together. So I think I'm gonna do like a mini tutorial at some point, whether it's on shorts or on Instagram, just like teach you guys how to like fluff up your brows a little bit. If you guys don't know, or if makeup's not your thing, makeup's so easy and it's for everybody. Straight guys, gay guys, trans guys, all the guys, everything in between and girls as well. Makeup is for everybody and it's just like, a thing to enhance how you feel on the inside. Or if you feel like shit on the inside, then you'll look great on the outside. And then you'll feel better on the inside because you look better on the outside and you'll get more compliments. You know what I mean? So I think I'm gonna do that. Leave a comment down below if you do want me to do some sort of like mini tutorial, just cute, a little one too, very, very easy. Anyways, I am blabbering on about how stunning I am. <laughs> Again, tell me I look good. <laughs> Teasing, God, stop. Anyways, we are here. I just got to Joey's. Wolf and Storm are in the back and Bo is leaving this morning. So I am gonna give him a bath and play with him a bit because he has a flight. The owner is coming to pick him up at I think like 10, 30 and I have to give him a bath, feed him, and let him run around because he's flying to Salt Lake City. And it's not a long flight, but I just want him to be comfortable. I did get his carrier and like, this is the final weekend that puppies can be in a carrier because they are starting to get big. And he is like around 18 pounds and the limit's like 22 pounds or 25 pounds. So he does fit in it. I tried it out, but I hope he didn't grow any more overnight. So let's go see the puppies. I do have a TBD family on Woods, which is really, really great. I'm super excited about that. They are coming to see him today. They were coming to LA anyways from Boston. So they were here for this weekend. They're like, well, if it works out, we'll just pick them up. So fingers crossed. And they are actually my friend's sister who lives in Boston. Their sister lives here in California, in Marina Del Rey, not too far from me. And they're a wonderful family. They lost their dog, a dog of like 10 or 14 years. It was a lab. They lost the pup in November, I think. And they're ready to add to their own family. They just got married on New Year's. So I think it'll be really sweet and they're really amazing. And they're from Boston. So I would see them anytime and back home on the East Coast. They live, I think near Cape Cod. That's a beautiful area. So the puppy would have like the ocean and they wouldn't be near Luna. If you guys followed the Husky pack, Lark's puppy Luna went to my good friends, Josh and Lizzie in Boston. So they would have somebody there too, which is super exciting. Okay. Let's go see the puppies and let's go give them a bath and let's go play with them. Oh. Good morning, Bill. The final three queens. Oh my goodness, you guys did grow overnight. I don't know if you're gonna fit in your carrier, Bo. You better. And you guys, yes, Bo still has his little growth, but it is benign, so it will be removed whenever he gets neutered. And all the contracts say, all the puppy contracts say that the puppies have to get neutered when your veterinarian requests it. So within the first year, they should be neutered. Hi babies. Hi, do you guys wanna go outside in the rain a little bit? So yeah, his uh, little skin tag can be removed quite easily. Let's go outside and I'll clean out this pen. Was that, does that sound good? Yeah? Okay. Uh-uh-uh. I don't want to see you digging. Uh, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I washed all their toys last night, so now you guys have fresh toys to play with. I need to wash down those poops, though. One of the 
most annoying things is washing down the poop so they don't strip in it, babes. You guys love this toy. So I'm gonna link this toy down below if you guys have puppies. They're obsessed with this. You want this? You want this? You got a ball? We've got this thing. They also love this thing because it has like different textures on it. Ooh. You guys are spoiled rotten to the core. And then I have this thing, which is like tug of war. Oh, look at that. You can play tug of war. I think that's enough toys for now because I don't want them to get too spoiled rotten. Hi, sweet boy. Woodsy, you might meet your family today. Ah, uh, uh, why are you guys digging over there? Naughty boys. Yaro, you weren't digging. It was the boys, they were being naughty. Are you guys ready to play? Oh, 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 oh eh, eh, eh. Are you guys ready to play? Do you wanna play in the yard? We gotta tie your bow out before his flight. Play for a little bit, come on. Come on, pinheads. Oh, look at you, Yaro. <laughs> boys, over here. Bo the boys are not as bright as Yaro is. <laughs> come here. Bo, Bo. Oh my gosh. Bo, come here, come here. Come on, come on, come over. Come here. Come here, right here, come on, you can do it. Yeah, good boys. Yeah, let's run. Let's run in the rain. No, 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 no. We're not gonna eat those pods. Nope, nope, not the pods, not the pods, not the pods. These are jacaranda pods. They fall from this tree up here. You crazy kids, you crazy kids. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna let your mommy out and your uncle. And we're all gonna play, and they're gonna tire you out. Come on. We got to play with the puppies. Get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. Come on, let's play. <laughs> Bobo, come on, go play. Yeah. <laughs> they're all teaching him how to play. Come here, buddy. <laughs> get him, mama, get him, get him, get him. Hi, <laughs> boy. Oh, Monty, be gentle. Be gentle. Be gentle with Bobo. Hey. She knows. Get that boy. Hi. Oh, Woodsy boy. You're so sweet. Ara, what are you doing? You're playing with the flowers, huh? Come here! Oh, there he is. <laughs> yes, you're getting tired, huh? Moon, you're being very good with them. I'm very proud of you. Playtime's over for now. Yarrow and Woods, I gotta give your brother a bath. Where is he? Hey, 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 no charges. No charges! Let's give you a bath, shall we? You sweet boy. I just clipped his nails. Oh, that fate. Oh, I can tell he's getting um, my friend Allie is, my other friend Allie, is coming over to play with the pups, and then I have your new mommy coming in 20 minutes, so I gotta wash you, and, oh, Allie's here, and I gotta write the note to your mommy, and get your playpen, not your playpen, your travel bag ready, so, let's hustle. Alright, Bo, it's your time to shine, buddy. How's the water? Feeling nice? So, a little bit about Bo. He has his little growth still. Like I mentioned, but it's benign and it'll be taken off if the new owner would like to. He got, literally, he grew overnight. It's crazy. He is the sweetest temperament boy. He was supposed to go to another owner and then that owner's first choice was actually Grizzly. Then Grizzly became available and then Bo became available and then one of Bo's people fell through and I just wanted to find the right family with him because I know he's gonna be a big boy and he's so gentle and sweet and honestly I just wanted him to have a nice yard and and be able to go on like little road trips and sit down but, and I finally found this great girl who lives in Salt Lake City so not too far she's flying into Burbank her grandparents live not too far from her and they have a farm they have land and she already has a golden so it'll be a nice addition to the fam and she seems really 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 sweet and I'm excited because I think he will fit in perfectly with her and I can't wait to see you grow up because you're the sweetest boy huh make sure you're nice and clean let's dry you up 
Let's get the ears. Get you all floofed up. Okay, bring me my son. Hey. Oh, big bolt. He grew overnight, too. Yeah. Is it? What are you drinking my coffee for? How dare you? Look mm -hmm. at that face. He's always been so sweet. He's also, Bo has always been the lighter, but he will get a little darker. But look at this little button face and your little growth. Your little penis mm -hmm. arrow. <laughs> That's fine, those things can be fixed to your plastic surgery is a thing. I'm gonna miss him a lot. Oh, he's so <laughs> he likes to sit on his bed like, boop. Uh, <laughs> bunny. Uh, Hi, bunny. Yeah, he's so good. Oh, I'm gonna miss you, big boy. Yeah. All right, we have a few more minutes of playtime before your mother gets here and then before you're in a little pet carrier for the next four hours. Enjoy it. He looks like he's gonna knock out right yeah, now. He's so tired. Oh, put him down. And in Bo's basket, so I have everything that I had in the other ones. I just doubled up on the pads just in case they need some for the plane. Again, he has his little lamb with the puppy scent on it, the wild one harness, the wild one leash collar, and the poop bag, which is in this beautiful pine green nylabone. I did some wet wipes in here just in case for the plane, some treats. A card with his vaccination records, a little collapsible bowl, his little tag, his little skin tag, tennis ball, and about two cups of food in here, just in case. He just had breakfast and poop, so he should be good for a bit. But off we go. It's a ref for your boy, oh baby. Hi guys, it's the next day. Sorry, I'm singing It's a Rap by Mariah Carey, which is an extremely incredible underrated song, which at the moment I am kind of dealing with the contents of that song. So anyways, it's the next day. So yesterday, Twig was, not Twig, oh my God. Triggered. So yesterday, Bo was supposed to leave, but Peyton, who is Bo's adoptive mom, their flight got canceled and it was a whole situation. It was raining cats and dogs here in LA, so. Bo ended up staying the night. He just left this morning. And now I'm super excited to announce that I painted my nails this awful brown color because it's the only nail polish I had and I really felt like painting my nails and they're disgusting. No, that's not the announcement. The announcement is that Woods has a home. So by random events, I have a friend here in LA, a newer friend, but we're linked together through a very, very good friend. I was actually at her wedding on the East Coast and I met this girl last summer at the wedding, actually at the bachelorette party when we went to in Mexico. Then we, you know, reconnected at the wedding. I found out she's from Marina Del Rey and she's actually from the East Coast where I'm from in Boston. Well, outside of Boston, kind of like the Cape. Anyways, her sister and her new husband, they just got married like two weeks ago. So sweet. They lost their dog of 14 years as their family, Yellow Lab, and they were out here visiting her sister. So they were like, this is like the perfect timing. We were looking at getting another dog and we just got married and we're not going to have kids for a while. So just like things fell into place and I'm so excited because they're the perfect perfect they're wonderful they're so sweet hardworking, down to earth funny just like outdoorsy they love the beach they spend a lot of time on their boat they spent a lot of time with their dog just like swimming and hiking and all these things and they're a dog family the stars just like lined up for a sweet little woodsy and i really did want to keep him but you know i i felt a little weird about bringing another dog into my life you know i already have monty and i adore her so much i'm moving also moving is a very stressful time to have a puppy and i'm taking wolfie and so Wolfie's gonna be moving in with me. So I'm gonna have Wolf, Storm, and Monty. Joey's gonna have the new puppy and he's gonna have Moon. And then we're gonna alternate Wolf. So I'll probably have him during the weeks. And then whenever I travel, he will take Wolfie. We're gonna, we're gonna work it out. But Wolf loves being with me. I'm super outdoorsy. I wanna take him to Montana more often. I wanna take him on road trips and hikes while he's still like vital and gorgeous. I mean, he'll always be gorgeous, but I'm so excited. I could not be happier. And I just feel like someone is looking down on us from doggy heaven and kind of just lined everything up perfectly so i am back at joey's right now i had a lovely morning and um kind of been taking it easy chilling it was raining here the past two days and it is raining again now but right now i'm gonna play with woods and yarrow in the backyard a little bit and then i'm gonna give woodsy his last bath clip his nails and get him ready because they're flying back to boston tonight on a red eye it just so happened they were here during this weekend so it works out because honestly if he was here for another week i don't think he would fit in the carrier bag but i got a carrier bag let's go check it out he does fit in it great and i'm going to show you guys how i'm going to set that up so let's go and then we will meet woods's family 
family. I'm so excited. Let's do it. Oh, right where I left you. What do you mean? Hello. Hello. Hi, Moon. Who's leaving today? Woods is leaving. I'm going to give him a bath. Aww. I'm setting up his basket and his little in-flight kit. Mm-hmm. It's sad. Do you have anything to plug? I see you've been getting in some Twitter drama <laughs> recently. Yes, you can check out my Depop store. Oh. Link is down below. In the you description. used to be invited to uh, award shows, and now yeah. you're selling clothes on Depop. That's true. Yeah. And also, so am I, and so is every other creator. So if you're mad at us for being sustainable and good to the environment, how dare you? How dare you, you beast? His yeah. awful store will be linked down below. <laughs> it's literally the 80 striped t-shirts and literal crystal wolf merch and gifts of mine from Absolutely the past. Absolutely not. No, but they're, they're actually gorgeous. cute stuff and they're pretty affordable. There it is. Get the plug, get the plug. Oh, it's blown out. I can't see, I can't see anything. Yes, look at all those things that I bought you through the years. Gorgeous. <laughs> None of it. Hi, Monty. Hi, baby girl. Let's go pe- No, stop calling her your girl. She She's my literally my girl. Literally not. Well, now that you're not keeping one of the puppies, maybe she will be your... She's gone. I adopted... I'm... Yara leaves tomorrow. <laughs> you're so sick. So this is the little carrier that I got. I got this from Petco. I could have got a really cute one from Wild One, but I didn't really have the time to ship since Woods is leaving on a very, like, you know, quick timeline. Yeah, you guys want to... Storm, you want to go in there? Anyway, so this one has a little top flap and a side flap. The inside is like this faux sheepskin situation, but I'm gonna put a pad here. The pads that that brand Diggs Pet sent me a while ago, they don't really, I don't know if this goes maybe in a crate or one of their carriers. They obviously like, I can't really use this very much like on a floor, but it fits perfectly in here. So I'm gonna put a pad there and then I'm gonna put another pad maybe a back pocket here. So I put an extra pad here, not that you will need that for the floor whatsoever. And then I have this card that I need to fill out and personalize for them. And then in his little basket, I have this really cute toy that has the puppy scent on it, the treats, food, since he's leaving tonight and will be on an overnight flight. And then I have all my wild one goodies, the poop carrier, the dog leash, the collar, and the harness. I love these because they're just Wipe them off, they don't get dirty. I will link them down below. Little bone, some wipes, ball, and some more pee pads, just in case. Also, these are the bath wipes that I use. I love these, Nature's Miracle. And this is lavender. Lavender scent, it's divine. I'm gonna pop this in here as well. It's gonna go in there, little purse. So I have his vaccination records and a little Little card, I said, Dear Holly and Derek, so grateful to have found such wonderful parents, future parents, to sweet woodsy boy. He is so special to me and such a loving bundle of joy. I'm so excited to see him grow up and all the adventures to come as the newest addition to your lovely family. Enjoy this new chapter. Wishing you all the best. Love, Daniel. P.S. Don't hesitate to reach out at any time. You're stuck with me now. That's right, Monty. We get to see him whenever we're in Boston. Yes. Also, his tag is going in there, and I'm excited that they are keeping his name. So many of the parents have kept the puppies' names that I've named them, so that is going to work out perfectly. And then there were two. Hello, everyone. <coughs> gorgeous, gorgeous. Hi, ladies. Hi, babies. It's time for your bath. It's time for your farewell bath, and you leave tomorrow, Yaro. Your farewell bath, I know. My fingers look like poop, but they're not. My camera died. This camera, oh my god, it's great, but the battery lasts two seconds. Uh Uh-uh, get in your bath. We gotta snip your nails real quick and give you a bath because your parents are gonna be here in 10 minutes. Okay, let us do the nails quickly. Quick and painless. That was pretty painless. Let us bathe you now. What am I gonna do with you? You have the biggest paws. I think you're gonna be the biggest dog out of all of them. Whoa! Don't be a silly little dog. Dry your ears really well. And get you all ready.
you guys can't hear Joey right now, but he's talking to Yaro, saying that she's his prisoner forever. You will never go to the beach or go on a hike. Oh, she's not an outdoors dog like her mom. Terrible. I will have to take her to the beach. Woodsy boy, you're all grown up. Look at that face, that handsome face. Oh, I love you so much, buddy. You're gonna have the best life in Massachusetts, my home state. And I'm gonna see you every time I pass through there and hopefully you can meet Luna. Maybe we can meet at the beach if I'm ever on a road trip and I have your mom with me. Oh, you shivering. You're going to the best family ever though. Kinda smell like earthworms. Should we give you a little spritz? Have your eyes? Okay. A little deodorizer. Say bye to everyone. Bye guys. It was so nice. Oh, that's Aunt Storm. You won't like her. Come here, buddy. Aunt Storm, come here. Woodsy. Oh my gosh, you grew overnight. They all love this little furry bed though. Get in there, get in there. <laughs> oh, Storm, he jumped on Storm's back. Woodsy. Get your mom. Oh, his sister. Go say hi to your sister. You say, you don't even say bye to him, you don't care. Woodsy. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Ah, uh, sweet. It's Moon, cool. cut it out. Come on, come on. Stop it. Stop. Where's my daughter? Where is she? There she is. <laughs> Whoa! Wolfie. He said, get away from me! Wolfie hates puppies. Oh, that's cute. Hi. Oh, that's cute. I'm gonna miss you guys so much. I love him. I'm oh, you wanna him. keep him? Oh, Storm loves him. Ew. Storm, you do have a rotten breath. It's very literally Look, yellow his... teeth too. No, his teeth are his teeth and gums are healthy. He's just, there's something dead in there. Arr, arr, arr. Yeah. Is your mom gonna steal that toy from you again? Yeah. Of course she is. Oh, they're gonna play together. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Get it. Oh my goodness, Monty. Get a hold of yourself, woman. Oh, that's sweet. Your stepfather, your deadbeat stepfather. Oh, I miss Look how big he is. Show me show me how he, how big he is again. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Ooh. I think he's like 22 it's pounds. Cool. So cute. Oh, big mom just wants your food. Oh, Hi, honey, you sad? Oh. Oh, baby. So this is when you need to start. It, it might be for you, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. Sweet girl. We'll see if you last. What's that supposed to mean? There's shit on the walls. That wasn't here yesterday. Wasn't, Didn't clean it up, did you? Wasn't here today either. Oh, really? I bet that was her. She gave me a kiss. All right, well, we're gonna clean this up and set her up in the living room. Okay, my darling Yaro, are we ready? We're going to your new apartment. Throw her toys down. Here, Here she is. Goes. Hi, pretty girl. Do you want some more toys? Are you gonna be, are you gonna be good without me? I know your mom likes this. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Dog Dad. I know I did. I'm so happy there was a happily ever after for our sweet woodsy boy.